What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this week I want to talk about the PS5 reveal event, how it's seemingly on June 3rd. Uh, really, really big news, kind of breaking news. Now, uh, really quickly before I get into this, I know a lot of you guys uh, watch a lot of different videos on this channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, to kind of go into this, this next couple days, and really over the last uh, couple of weeks as well, I've been experimenting with doing more than three videos a day. There's just, there's literally, especially on a day like today, day like yesterday, there were a lot of gaming stories and I want to cover as many as I possibly can but they're not all going to get notifications so if you guys could do me a favor firstly make sure you are subscribed and have notifications on so when they do send them which we know YouTube is pretty terrible at that but when they do send them you get them and then also you know keep checking back on the channel because you know I'm going to do three videos a day at the minimum sometimes there'll be more so it really mean a lot uh, to me if you guys would do that I think that just generally helps too that way you don't end up missing anything so this is pretty big so remember let's go back in time let's tell a story here and I, I do like to tell stories uh, with a lot of the videos I make the PS5 reveal event was seemingly going to be June 4th now that would have been next Thursday Jeff Grubb from I believe it was it's Venture Beats uh, he's kind of like risen out there as like this is a guy who for some reason knows everything all of a sudden right like he's a prominent leaker he's a prominent uh, just an insider in the industry I, I really have never had heard of his name before like last week or two weeks ago when he started talking about the PlayStation reveal event but remember he wrote like Slate of PlayStation that was on June 4th and he said it's going to be pretty darn big they're going to show quite a lot of stuff they're going to show first party games they're going to show the console they're going to talk about it and that's kind of what everybody was going under the assumption of now all of a sudden today you know everything kind of broke apart and he started doing very kind of like funny things where he said you know it's after June 2nd but it's before June 4th like it's not June 4th anymore but it's definitely after June 2nd and then uh, Jason Trier right formerly of Kotaku he threw his hat in the ring and he said he's hearing June 3rd Third, Sony's going to do the reveal event. Now, this comes with some caveats, too, because what it seems like uh, is don't, and, and even myself, I really have to be careful how I'm going in with the mindset because, you know, Jeff Grubb did say they're going to show a lot of things. People were saying, like, this is going to be quite a big event. Jason Schreier uh, came out and said, you know, don't expect everything all next week, right? They're going to have actually a couple different things throughout the summer, which to me tells me they're doing a lot like Microsoft. They're going to do like, in and now, not exactly. This is just my speculation, but it does seem like they're going to go more in line with uh, Microsoft's inside Xbox, right? So they ha they're having one basically every month leading into the Xbox Series X releasing. Last month, obviously, or this, I guess we're still in May, right? This month they had, you know, uh, third-party games, right? In June, they're going to be talking about their console in a way that I think is kind of like the Mark Cerny thing for the PS5. July is obviously going to be their first party game, so on and so on, right? So I think Sony's doing something similar in a way that they're going to try to break it apart. I honestly feel like that's even in a way why they're doing the state of plays the way they are. That's why they're doing Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us. Now, maybe they would have done that anyway, but to kind of get people used to, you know, every week, every two weeks, every, you know, every so often, we're going to do these events and we're going to talk about something. They could be a game. They could be multiple games. They could be the console. They could be a feature. You know, things like that. I think that it's a really good strategy. I really do think that. I know a lot of people are disappointed at Inside Xbox and so was I. Uh, but for what we got, I thought it was actually pretty darn good. So, it's going to be interesting to see what exactly they show because they said, like, don't expect everything to, uh, next week. Don't expect everything next Wednesday. So, to me, that... and and. I guess we also have to put into place the other things we've heard. So remember, we've heard that really don't expect a release date or price. If people are expecting, you know, Sony's going to show the PS5 and then immediately at the same time show the release date and price, that's going to be wrong. Now, again, if you would have been, th this is what they did at E3, uh, you know, way back in the day when the PS4 came out, right? They actually did do that. They showed it. Now, it wasn't the first time we had seen it, but obviously that whole E3 was geared towards the PS4. They did the release date and they did the price right so same time period this time right or, I mean it's it's probably like one week earlier than last time but I would understand why a lot of people would want that I would also understand why a lot of people would be disappointed with that it seems like again from insiders it seems like Sony and even Microsoft are going to wait till the last it could be sadly as late as August that we get like the release date maybe not the release date but very likely the price but at the same and we've talked about that right can you give the release date for something and 
can you give pre-orders and like have people pre-order something if you don't have the price for it yet? I feel like that's really a low move that's not going to be looked at very well. I wouldn't look at it well myself, but it seems like that's kind of because you got to give the release. You can't give the release date, in my opinion. You can't give that in August. You can't give pre-orders out. You can't let people pre-order it in August. Uh, price again, like they want to wait as long as they can because of like the chips that go in their uh, their systems uh, because they have to set the price for those first. Uh, so they may end up just like I said in, in past videos, they may end up just giving us a price for the system that we find out a couple months later. You know, maybe they could have gone lower, or maybe they could have. Maybe it's too high, or maybe it's too low. You know what I mean? So it's going to be really interesting. And this year is very different. This year is very backwards. Obviously, it's, uh, uh, you know, because of what happened, it obviously uh, did not help. Uh, firstly, the world, and secondly, um, this PlayStation event. But this is exciting. This is literally one week today. I still do believe we're getting lots of games. I think, again, Jeff Grubb, slate of PlayStation June 4th, moving it literally back one day. I, you know, I don't think that's going to change what they're going to show in it. I think, again, people are kind of just getting you ready for, again, don't expect price, release date. But that doesn't mean we won't see it. I do think we'll see the PS5. Uh, will we see the DualSense? I mean, we've already technically seen it. Will we see it, like, in person? I think it's possible. Games. We need to see games, which obviously a lot of people have said. What could those games be? We've talked about it. We talked about Silent Hill, right? The PS5 exclusive Silent Hill. Uh, with Pyramid Head coming to Dead by Daylight, that seems even more likely now. Uh, we have Horizon 2. We have Spider-Man 2. Maybe a teaser at God of War. I think they're... Besides the teaser for God of War, I think Horizon and Spider-Man 2 are all but guaranteed. Next Wednesday is going to be insanely, insanely exciting. I, I cannot wait. I was preparing myself, right, for June 4th. Now I'm uh, preparing myself for June 3rd. Now, again, the caveat also, again, is it can change at any moment. And I know that Jason Shire specifically has ran with that a lot, that he's given predictions or he's given his his leaks. And then he said, well, at the same time, it can be changed. With that being, uh, you know, with that being said, if it was originally planned for June 4th and they moved it to June 3rd, yeah, I guess you can use the excuse like, okay, anything could change. Like, things can change at last minute. But, like, if it's moved one day, like, that's not, it's not like it's been delayed indefinitely, been delayed uh, for a very, very long time. Like, possibly other things are that we'll talk about in other videos. But get ready. Next week, I truly think will be, no matter if they push it one day earlier, they push it one day later. No matter what, I truly do think next week is the week that we see the PS5 and that we see uh, a very, I think, a big handful, as big as your hand can uh, can hold, uh, of games. I really do think next week is going to be quite, quite amazing. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Is this exciting news? You guys are prepared? What do you think we're going to see at this PS5 uh, event? Let me know. As always, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you're subscribed, have the bell icon turned on, and also, I have a second channel. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. I'm going to start doubling up videos there too because, again, there's just so many things that are happening. I'm able to put videos over there as well. I obviously know that there's not as many people over there as here, so it's not going to get the traction. That's why I'm trying to do more videos here that don't get notifications. So, again, make sure you're checking back on this channel. Once these things start getting announced, like once we get into June and there's game announcements and there's multiple game announcements, I, you know, there's going to probably be more than three videos worth of ideas in my head to do. So I probably will end up doing more than three videos a day. So make sure you're just staying tuned to the channel. So many games, so many movies too. We discuss movies on this channel too. So many things to discuss uh, over the coming weeks, over the coming months. I absolutely cannot wait. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and being with the channel for this long. And I hope to see you all on the next video.